Yo, you're listening to, uh, what's it called? Ben and Brett Talk of the Town. Yo, this is MC Huge, and you're listening to Ben Glaze and his friend Brett with a nasty name that rhymes show. I don't know. What's it called, Hazed and Glaze? Glaze and Haze. Sup, y'all. Well, we got a big <laughs> show today. <laughs> It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know that the intent is good. But if you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for balls out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. It's so cartoonish. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm. I think it's humorous. Yeah, oh yeah. fuck! This is gonna be laughs all night. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Stupid. This just stinks. That that thing needs to go away. What? That Die Hard is not a Christmas movie thing. Why? That everybody gets into every year. Oh, it yeah, needs yeah. to go away. That's true. I it's... thought you meant the drop. Oh, no, no, no. no. If yeah. Bruce Willis says it's not a di- uh, Christmas movie, then it's not a Christmas movie. Right. And fucking Hans Gruber is dead. Right. <laughs> Severus Snape. Does does that mean that the other Die Hard movies are Christmas movies? No. Fuck You're no. You're right. Are, are all, all the... All the... <laughs> <laughs> Are all the other Home Alone movies Christmas movies? No, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah, they might be actually. Trump's in it. I mean, come on, Trump's in it. What? what? <laughs> God bless the United States. The United States. You're under arrest, Trump. Oh, you're a liar, Trump. What? What it's is? It's been a total disaster. Is that the from ratings like... ratings went right down the tubes. Gunsmoke or something? I don't know. What's that drop from? I have no idea. Oh. Eric uh, pulled him. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> so, uh, did you hear about Drake? No, but I forgot about Dre. Oh. <laughs> hi uh, No, I didn't. So there's dead? There's rumors going around. Oh, no, he's Nobody dead. knows if it's, if it's true, but someone's suing him. Oh, he's not dead? No. Not yet. Some Instagram model, I think. Okay. I think it's an Instagram model. Okay. She's suing him because apparently she's suing him, allegedly. What do you do? Because he took her home, had sex with her, oh, yes. went to the bathroom, Uh-oh. took off the condom, put hot sauce in the condom to kill the sperm. Uh, okay. She... Went into the bathroom, took the condom, and juiced it into herself and burned her vagina. Okay. And so she's suing him over it. <laughs> huh. So he's... He, okay. I want to backtrack a little bit. He's uh, he's had this issue before then. If he carries hot sauce around with him... Beaver. To put in his condoms. Yeah. It's it's a very strange story. So I'm assuming yeah, women are well women are crazy enough yeah, to, it's true. Steal to lie a about condom it. And, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, to do that because he's famous. He's famous. Yeah. And then they can go after him and have like an awesomely talented child as well. Right. Exactly. <laughs> They'll be on the next next generation of Degrassi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Gosh. Oh, yes, yes. Well, that's yes, crazy, yes. though. Just that the, is crazy. The fact that he probably does have hot sauce, and uh, is that scientifically proven? I'm like, I'm thinking, like, what about? I don't know. Why not French dip? Like, why can't I just take a dollop of French <laughs> dip and put it in there? You know. And how do you take the condom and not notice the hot sauce inside of it? Like, it's yeah. that it's not just unless he has goo. really red cum, right? Oh, I thought like where that story was going is that he put the hot sauce into the condom and then she kind of took it as a, like a little condom shot. Goo! She swallowed it. Oh. That's kind of where I was hoping that that was going. Oh, no, 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 no. It's much more. Flavor uh, up flavor up your, your juices a little bit. Right. Just, your own just squeeze it right into the mouth like a gogurt. Hot sauce mixture. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's. That was solid a solid start to to the podcast. Oh, hell's yeah. Thanks, Drake. Yeah, thank you, Drake. <laughs> Damn, I don't 
don't have any uh, drops for uh, oh, Drake. No. Uh, you don't have any Drake music? No. Hotline Bling or anything? No. And no, no, no. when that hotline blings, they hold me one thing. She wants to suck my dick and get some of that hot sauce and jizz. Yeah. Well, that was good. Thanks. That was, that was, that deserves this. Stop it. Stop, stop it. No, stop it. Stop. Quit it. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop. That's too much. <laughs> uh, do you have anything personal to talk about, or should I jump right into this other stuff? I met up with a buddy at the bar the other night, and I um, basically had to go to the bouncer to get him kicked out. Sex! What? You had to get your buddy kicked out? Yeah, well, both of us, basically, because he was being a fucking asshole Uh to this one dude. It's a black guy, and he's just being really rude and kind of racist towards this dude. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now, man? Hey, how are you, you fucking racist? And this guy's wearing... A mask, like not wearing a, it on his face, but he's wearing it kind of on his chin. Chin diaper. A chin diaper, which, yeah. I mean, didn't make too much sense when he was in the bar. Like, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. either wear it or don't wear it. Right. But my buddy was, like, going after him. He's like, well, you look like a fucking idiot like that. Blah, 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 oh, blah. God. So it got into, like, his this guy's friends starting to get, like, pissed off. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. So I walked to find a, a waitress. I'm like, is there a bouncer here? Oh, no. Yeah, my buddy's kind of being a, a racist asshole right now. Um, could you, like, uh, get us kicked? Can you just, like, kick us out? And Whoa! Then the bouncer goes over there and just is, like, standing, making sure that nobody gets, like, into a fist fight or yeah. anything like that. And my buddy's still, like, spewing shit out, and I just, like, left. I just walked out of the bar. Wow. And, like, oh, my God. Dude. Did you leave him? Too fucking much. Well, I went out and sat in my car. I was about okay. to leave. Yeah. And then he comes out and got in my truck. I'm like, dude, why the fuck are you doing that shit? Yeah. He was like, it was weird, man. He's so angry. Damn. Really weird. That's a first, though. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, my God. I don't need to be around that shit. Whoa, you're angry. Earlier that night, we were at, well, earlier in the night, I had eating dinner at the bar okay and the chicken tenders were not sitting right in my stomach Uh oh and we're outside smoking a cigarette and i'm starting to get like hot and sweaty and shit <laughs> i'm like oh a little bit burpy oh god this is not good this is not good so i'm standing out there and i just like walk out to the sidewalk and like in this little area and barf oh no you out. puke oh, oh yeah i thought that was gonna come out the other end. no it came all straight up man up Damn. junk it was the worst I felt better after that, but it was like, <laughs> the hell was in that chicken, man? Yeah. Or maybe I ate it too fast or something. I don't know, yeah. but it was disgusting. It was the most silent I've ever puked before, though. Silent? Just, yeah. It all oh, just, God. Just like spewed out. Just like, chunk, 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 chunk. I, uh, I was out to dinner with my dad and my grandma uh, on Sunday or whatever, or Saturday, and... I have this esophagus thing. Uh, my sister has it. My mom has it where you have to get it like stretched out. Eric's. I know. I remember. <laughs> wife has it. Um, and I think, well, I know Eric's wife and my sister have had it stretched out. Uh, I don't know if my mom has. Oh, yeah. I'm but sure I didn't have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big gold cock. Uh, what do you, how do you stretch out your esophagus I don't know. besides like shoving a fucking cold hard dick down your throat? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how they do it. I'm I'm hoping if they do yeah. it that I, I get put under for it. Huh. Oh, so it's like an actual medical procedure? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like uh, swallow a sword or something like that and just <laughs> expect it to get yeah. bigger. I don't know. Uh, And so I get... What's that mean? You just can't swallow things easily? Well, yeah. I get food lodged like right in my chest area. Ooh. And uh, Saturday it happened. And it happened bad, and I was making, I wasn't doing it on purpose, but I was making this like gurgling noise, mm. and my dad noticed it and was looking at me weird, and all of a sudden, like normally I drink pop and it goes down, yeah. or I drink something and it goes down. Uh, I'm just swallowing, but this time it came up, Oof. 
hand, they handed me uh, one of the cups at the table. Luckily, it was empty, yeah. and I spit up into that. Mm. And then I was like, "All right, I'm okay," but I wasn't. So I went to the bathroom, poured that cup into the toilet, and puked. Mm. And then then I was okay. Ugh. But uh, yeah, it was bad. It sucks. So we both had some puking. Going yeah, we on. did. Wow, yeah. that's puketastic. Yeah, puke brothers. What are the odds? Yeah, I don't know. We're like Eskimo brothers. That's but, true. But with puke. Are you Eskimo brothers with anybody? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Couple couple buddies. High actually. five. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> nice. Just passing them around. Oh huh? yeah, we just pff, use them up, throw them away. <laughs> And if you don't know what an Eskimo brother is, look it up on Urban Dictionary. I was talking about our condoms. Oh. Use those. Hot sauce? Put a little hot sauce in them. Yeah. Throw them away, you know? Right. So we're flush them down the toilet and get a $500 bill for a new septic tank fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. You're praying it's <sighs> awful. Yes. Um, so COVID's going around again because of the Omnicrom or whatever. Is I think that's what it's called, right? It, there actually is no N in there. It's Omicron. Okay. I've been calling it Omicron for since it's been out. Yeah. The people that I listen to on the radio call it Omicron, too. Well, those people don't know what the fuck they're talking yeah. about, do they? I guess not. Uh, <laughs> what, do you listen to NPR? Jesus. And then uh, Mark Norman has videos where he makes jokes about it, and he says Omicron, too. Yeah, so. that guy's really funny. Did he steal that joke from you, too? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, I saw we got a, an email from him and his his friend. I'm jonesing for that hang. What? We yeah, did? We, yeah, it said, hey, come back and listen to our podcast. Who? Mark and Sam. No. Mm-hmm. To the, our, the our show email? email? Yeah. No. I don't check believe it, you. Check it right now, dude. I'm not even lying to you. Hey, come uh, give us more content so that uh, we can take your joke and uh, turn it into our own. Kermit the Frog. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's the my most God. recent one. It was in uh, promotions. Yeah, it was. We miss hanging out with you. We hope you'll come back to join us, and we want to give you a little incentive to come back. What? I'm signed up to the Patreon through my email. Or through my Patreon account. Why the hell? Beats me, but delete it. I don't want anything in my email from those fucks. Uh, $10 credit to their Patreon. Oh, cool. Uh, I wish I could burn that. (laughs) Can we burn electronic credits? Uh, I don't know. Burn your phone. Set it up ablaze, brother. Oh, Oh, God. (laughs) But COVID's going around. Oh, yeah. It is. And uh, speaking of, yeah, I got my booster today. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Just want to throw that in there. I need to get mine still. Just, yeah, it took me a while, but I think I can get it just busy. through my doctor's office, right? Yeah, or you can just go to Meyer. That's what I did. You went to Meyer and got it? I went to Meyer. I, I called. Know. Which, uh, do you know which company? I got the Pfizer. Booster. Oh, okay. Yeah. You that's... can pick which one you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I got Pfizer for the vaccine, so I should. Yeah. To probably do Pfizer for the booster. That's too. what I did. Um, yeah. There's some people that say like, "Oh, you should get one of each." So if you got the Pfizer vaccine, you should get the Moderna booster. It's like, oh, why? I don't know. I don't trust those people. Yeah, I don't know. D- bigger uh, immunity or better immunity? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I believe that. that. Yeah. I doubt that. But I just thought I would say that before. Do you get a new card something. if you get a booster? Um, no, I have the same card, uh, and they just put a sticker good. on it. They're, oh, okay. They just put a new sticker on it. Because look at my card. Um, where the fuck is it? Can you read my name on my card? <laughs> oh, damn, no. Yeah, it's all uh, it's Oh, all yeah, gone. you can. It's, it's barely there. Benjamin. Don't say my last name. Mish. Oh, that's the state. Mitch? No. Michael? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got it. Okay, address, date of birth. Um, your birthday was actually the other day, the 14th. It was. It was on Friday. And I wished you a happy birthday. Yeah. I went and saw Scream on my birthday. Oh, did you like it? I loved it. I didn't like the ending, but I loved the oh, okay. rest of the movie. I'm, I'm you know what's somewhat nice excited about it? to see that. 
Um, what? What? Also, when you go to your doctor next, just ask for a new sticker. On there. Okay. They make it uh, pretty realistic this time around. Really? Like, you know how in scary movies, you're always like, uh, okay, uh, like slasher movies. Mm-hmm. Like, why aren't you equipped with anything? Yeah. Um, when why you do know, you keep running? Yeah. When you know there's a person after you. Right. So they have guns. So nice. it, it's it's they make it realistic cool. this time around. Awesome. But the ending, a little know, unrealistic. Oh, so, damn. Kind of like okay. the fourth one. Did you see the fourth one? I think I've seen them all. It's been, what, 15, 20 years since yeah. they've all come out. But I think it was 10 years ago when the fourth one came out. But uh, oh, yeah. her I'll cousin was, this. spoiler alert, her cousin was one of the killers. And uh-huh. she was a small girl, and so it was unbelievable. Yeah. And that kind of took me out of it, but... Oh, you literally yeah. just spoiled the new movie for me? No, that was the fourth one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to punch you in the face. If no, you the new no. One. Hells no. Woo. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm interested in seeing that one. Um, yeah, it's good. Also, let's talk about this later. You brought up COVID. Yeah, COVID's going around. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, There might be something that's worse than being sick or dying from it. <laughs> And he's dead. She's dead. What were you going to say? I don't want to say it. Okay. Um, A man is claiming that his penis shrank after a bout of COVID. Oh, my God. And that it isn't, that the the risk may be low in general, but it isn't far-fetched. It seems we can add sexual dysfunction to the long list of unexpected and unpleasant effects of corona. Thankfully, this doesn't appear to be a common occurrence. Yeah. And there are some potential remedies that those afflicted can try. Ooh, I wonder what the remedies are. Attaching a five-pound dumbbell to your uh, cock. <laughs> like an old school. And then right. just throwing it off the building, unfortunately. Oh, God. Um, After he was discharged from the hospital, <laughs> he... Uh, <laughs> Did it? Did he get it though? Yeah. Discharge. It's like his semen. Ah. He began experiencing erectile dysfunction, though his symptoms didn't improve. Or didn't. Though his symptoms did improve. God, I can't read. Uh, After seeing a doctor, the man reportedly was left with a glaring reminder of his ordeal, describing himself as above average in penis size before COVID. He said that his penis had now shrunk about 1.5 inches. Wow. And that he had become decidedly less than average. If I were, if that were me, I would not have anything left to show. <laughs> it's as big as it gets, baby. Long, hard. No. Yeah. I, I could see 1.5 inches soft. No, I'm 1.5 hard. That's, oh, uh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. JK. <laughs> Let's see. Amanda. Uh some urologists were interviewed. Who, That's a cock doc. Yeah. <laughs> who rightly noted that there's a clear trail of evidence linking COVID to erect- erectile or sexual dysfunction. Um I'm trying to find the things you can do to help this. Um where the fuck is that? I don't know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's just talking about erectile dysfunction. Oh, here we go. Viagra uh, and even a shrunken penis can be treated or prevented through what one urologist refers to as penile rehab, oh which God. can involve stretching exercises like you were saying. And or pumping devices. Oh, so like... Uh, so not all hope is lost. Like Kegels, but for your balls or your dick. Do you think... Your, I think Kegels are for like you lasting longer. Help you last longer. I don't you, know if it's about stretching. Are you joking? You don't know what a Kegel is? Yeah, I know what a Kegel What's is. What's a Kegel? It's where you clench and... Oh, no. It's got nothing to do with men. No, men do it. No, Kegels are a women thing. Yeah, tighten up the vagina. They tighten up the pussy. But men can do it no. to make you last longer and also uh, no. help your bladder. No. Are you holding your pee longer? Oh, I hold in my pee constantly. 
so. I don't think so. No, I'm it's not, true. I'm not going to agree with a male Kegel. <sighs> nope. Not happening. I can Google male a- Kegel. agree with a dweef, a male queef, though. It's a dick fart. Male Kegels. Uh, from Mayo Clinic. That's a reputable source. That's not credible at all. Kegel exercises for men can help improve bladder control and possibly improve sexual performance. Possibly. Okay, thanks, mayonnaise. <laughs> Make you last long. Thanks, Hellman's mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or whatever the hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Um, Stop looking at the time already. Sorry. I just I just realized that uh You're the fucking worst. I got to the last uh article. Already. That was Oh, you brought <laughs> one article then? Oh, there was I had two things, Drake and COVID oh. penis. Okay. And then now I have this third one. Mm. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. I, I thought I had see. more, but I, I, I uh here we go. Conrado Estrada I think it's Conrado. Conrado. Oh, bless you. Uh, what? Estrada. You Do say. I have, uh... Ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> you almost spilled out your beard, didn't you? Oh, my God. Uh, he spent years of his life hiding his face due to his oversized nose. Oh, God. I don't want, I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it? No. Have you heard about this? No. I'm just kidding. Like, tell me more. Also, I want to see that thing. But he has been able to gain his confidence back after ongoing, undergoing a miracle surgery. Now, this dude uh, with his terrible nose must have been happy about masks during COVID. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hide that feature. First question I have, though, off of that is, like, you think he pleasures women with his nose? He possibly could because it's penis-shaped. Oh, yes. Uh, do you want to see it now or do you want to see it after? Yeah, I, I want to see it now. You don't even have to read the article. I want to see that fucking thing. Here's him after the surgery. Oh, he looks so That looks pretty normal, That's huh? so good. Yeah. Here's him before the surgery. So oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Yeah. He definitely shoved that thing in women's pussies. That is the biggest penis I have ever seen. Holy wow. He looks like Squidward. He's got a Squidward <laughs> nose, dude. That's true. He's got a Squidward. Ah, Squidward. <laughs> ah, hi, SpongeBob. Dude, that's the perfect way to describe it. Yeah, right? Yes. That's even better than saying oh, it's a penis Who nose. lives in a pineapple under the sea? It looks like a turd is coming out of a dog's butt. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, my God. That looks... Oh. It's just all... Like, you can tell, like, he doesn't get enough blood flow to that area. You freaking turd! What is that? It smells like a turd covered in burnt hair. Nice turd drops. Yes. Um. So, he spent most of his life hiding his severely disfigured nose. I... With the face mask. Oh, there we go. That answered oh. my question right away. So, yeah, you were right. He was probably super ecstatic when this, oh, this yeah. pandemo came around. Um, Let's see. He spent years having trouble eating and breathing due to a rare condition that Why? made the tip of his nose <laughs> grow to an incredible size. Oh, man. The 57-year-old painter and construction worker said people would stare at him and children would ask their mothers what happened to him. Well, this prop this guy was probably all up in their business being a little bit too nosy. Looks like a monster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh he said they would stare at me. Uh children would ask their moms what happened to me and I would get around it by using a fast face mask all the time. Oh my god, there's a f- a picture from him in the front. Not- <gasps> oh, Squidward! That really does look like a dick and balls you're, because of his nostrils. You're literally telling me that nobody knows what's up with him. <laughs> 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 two for two. As well as feeling self-conscious about his large feature, the oversized nose also obstructed his speaking, caused oh, no. snoring, oh, and this- massively got in the way of day-to-day tasks. Ugh. Oh. Sucks. It's he says it reached my lips 
And whenever I took a bite when I ate that would touch the spoon. Oh, this story smells disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi-oh! You know who would have loved this? Oh, oh never mind. Oh, I was going to say Robert from Everybody Loves Raymond, but he touches food to his chin, not his nose. Oh. Ah. Yeah, you Bad reference. You shouldn't have even explained that. Yeah, I know. No. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Now I'm upset. It appeared he had a <laughs> penis on his nose, according to the doctor's uh, description. He went on. <laughs> it was a smoldering infection, and it would have just kept going, the doctor said. Uh, I don't mind telling people what I think. The plastic surgeon claimed that if he hadn't treated the infection, it would have just kept growing. No. Oh man, can you? Uh, yeah, I can. Let's get. Let me get an infection in my penis so it keeps growing. How about that? Oh no, there's only a beer left. What? <laughs> what? How much did you drink already? I've only had one, dude. I brought a two pack over. A two pack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, people with the condition have thickened. Pimpled and pitted skin at the tip of the nose oh, due to enlarged pickled and pitted sebaceous glands. Sebaceous. The cause of the condition is still unknown. Hmm. He said he uh, the guy said he spent six years seeing doctors and skin specialists and nothing would get better. Hmm. Uh, let's see. That's disgusting. He said, I'm uh, doing everything I can to, oh, the doctor said, to help my community. I want the community to flourish. Okay, that's. Uh, what the fuck? Um, that's horrible. Here's a little pun. Uh, Fire him. The guy said the reaction from his loved ones has been enormous. Aw. Uh, as big as his I nose? Don't. <laughs> 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 Uh, he told the post, uh, I believe God sent an angel to take care of me. Mm-hmm. And that's how I see the doctor yeah. as an angel. He he just knows these things. <laughs> Hi-oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still haven't watched that. I'm Paramount Plus. I still haven't watched that. What? The COVID special. Oh, you got to. You, did you watch it? Yeah, and? I watched both of them. Are they good? They're okay. They're not as good as the first. They did two pandemic specials, and then they did the Mm. COVID specials. And the first pandemic special, good. Second one, not that great. Not not that great. And then the two COVID uh, ones are not that great. But they're worth watching. Oh, okay. There's some funny stuff in there. Oh, that was a roller coaster. I mean, you get to see them as grownups for the first time. Oh, I've always wanted that. Yeah. Nice. So. All right, cool. Give me your login. What else is on Paramount? Oh, wow. oh, we canceled it. Oh, I think Yellowstone is on it. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's on Paramount Network. Correct. Also, the Paramount Network, not Paramount Plus or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Also, uh, speaking of Paramount Plus, I watched Eternals yesterday. I did, too. Did you like? I did not. Oh. All right, we can move on. Did you? I liked it. Really? I enjoyed it, okay? It bored the hell out of me. Oh. It was well, Two you're... hours and thirty seven minutes. Yeah, and you're hard it, to it please, bored I think. me. No. Mm, it was yeah, it was very it was it was pretty good. boring. It was good. And the Kumail dancing scene with the ladies was not yeah. needed. It was needed. <laughs> it was completely needed because it gives backstory to him. Uh, and it, was, it updates it you on where he's at. Well, all right, we can move on. I um, enjoyed it. It wasn't the best movie, I'll give it that. Okay. But I enjoyed it. What about? Uh, are you still going with Boba, Boba Fett? Fett? Yeah, or because I'm pretty sure I'm going to stop watching that. I'm going to keep watching it. But I was in the shower yesterday thinking about you, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> Ben was kind of right. Like this just doesn't like grab me like Mandalorian did. Right? I don't know if you liked Mandalorian. I love Mandalorian. Oh yeah, it's yeah, just it's like a good show. It's a lot more fast paced than Boba Fett is. Yeah. So I'm and gonna, it's yeah. not as boring. Um, yeah. So either it needs to speed up. Or I just they just do one season of it just to say that they did it and they yeah. gave Boba Fett a back line or right. a, a history backstory. Yeah. backstory. I don't know. I mean, uh, did you hear about uh, the Parks and Rec clip that's been going around? Uh, no. Related to Boba Fett? No, because I did not. <laughs> I wonder if I can. <laughs> I wonder if I can find that real quick. I wonder if you could too. 
Speaking um, of things that are going around while you're trying to find that, yeah, I was getting my hair cut earlier, and the woman that uh, cuts my hair, she was telling me of a TikTok haircut trend that's been going around called the Luther. Okay, and it looks like uh, those old like um, church monks or whatever that have the huge bald spot on their head. Yes, but they have hair coming out from that. Correct. Spot. Yes. And she showed me a picture of some kid that definitely got that shit done the other day. and On purpose? On purpose, yeah. And what the fuck? he walked out of the place like, okay, obviously his parents weren't with him. Okay. Because he's a high schooler or some shit. Yeah. And so he's just doing he, it to be funny? I don't know, man, but he looked dumb. Yeah, looked I real can imagine. Bum. Google it. Call in. Uh, um, all right, here we go. I want you to 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 watch this because it's got... It's a Patton Oswalt speech from Parks and Rec. Okay. Um, and it shows in the corner him giving the speech, but then the main video is of from the show Boba Fett. This is an old Parks and Rec? Yes. Okay. So just hit play there. Hand down from the twin sons of Tatooine, uh, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, the dove Mandalorian armor gauntlet of Boba Fett grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit, and the feared bounty hunter pulls himself <laughs> from the maw of the sand beast. Okay, this is and we, exactly... And we realize uh, that he survived his fall uh, during the battle at Jabba's uh, oh. palace ship. Nice. How about that? It's not that fascinating, though. No. Do you know how many Star Wars books there are? And if he's a nerd in the show, then he yeah. definitely knows that for a fact. I don't know. And I that's thought it already was... been written. That I... story's already been written. But he... the story right. has Boba Fett's story. Yeah. Really? Do you know how many Star Wars books there are? I have no idea. All fuck ton. More than the movies. A Nerd. stupid amount more than the movies. Nerd a so, alert. So you guys are easily entertained if you think that's good, okay? You're like a nerd mixed with a dork. I expected better of you, at least. Really? Because you're not easily I thought it was. I thought it was... Uh, wow, cool. Somebody described cool. something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like... No. It was like spot on. It was spot on. Oh, my God. No. Scene no. for No. What did I just or say? What did I clip? just... How did I just explain it to you? Yeah, I guess. Books, man. The books. I guess. I thought it was cool. No. I was wrong. Oh, no. You didn't like that as much as I didn't no. like the Eternals. Yeah. How's it feel, huh? <laughs> it's upsetting, <laughs> isn't it? At least that was only 30 seconds and not two and a half hours. Oh, my God. But that one had Kit Harrington in it. That's true. For like two minutes. Yeah, but he was barely in it. But Still Icarus. Like, he's in fucking the... Strap me down and fuck me. Uh, I'm not going to say. I would. Yeah, don't, Bonus. don't spoil that. But seriously, stay at, through the whole movie and watch the whole movie. You and chumps. watch the two after credit scenes. Yeah, through the whole movie. Duh. Yeah. yeah. The whole entire movie. It's true. Damn. Um. It's how upset I am right now. One of the really reasons. Another reason why I'm not going to watch Boba Fett or keep watching it is because there's other shows that have come out. Yeah. Uh, Peacemaker. Have you watched that at all yet? Yeah, I've watched all three that have come out Seriously? so far. Seriously? Yeah. God dang. You have nothing but time to watch Dude, shows. I'm single as fuck, man. Wow. I'm super stupid single. <laughs> oh, my God. I still haven't, wa I haven't watched those yet. Uh, and then there's Righteous Gemstones yep. also on HBO. I haven't caught up on those episodes yet. I haven't yet either, but I heard nothing but good things about them so far. Yeah, I mean, it's a stupid show, but it's funny. It's great. It's stupid. It's good. But it's funny, it's okay? Great. I'm saying it's good, but okay. it's stupid as fuck. Okay. God. Uh, Danny got, McBride is, is great. He's great. I got yes. one for you. Archive 81. The fuck is on that? On Netflix. It just came out like Friday. Is it another animated show? No, it's not another animated okay. show. It's about this dude who like... He works for a museum initially. Oh, no. Not at the Shut museum. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just kidding. And he restores like old videotape, and, and that's basically his per per Nerd. profession. Okay. And he restores um, like broken or burnt tape, stuff like that. 
All right. So he gets this project from some weird person that he doesn't know, and he starts like, like cleaning all this tape and like making it better. And he realizes that there's all this connection between him and what's going on in the tapes, and the girl that wait is him in the himself. Tapes. Yeah. So there's a whole like everything's interconnected, and it's so kind of like been like videoed that he doesn't no. know about. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, no, because yeah. But it's it kind of go, goes down the hole of like satanic cults and is this a series or yeah, a it's movie? It's series on Netflix. Archive f- eighty one. And, and have you watched it all? Uh, I've got like two more episodes. Oh my god! How do you have this much fucking time? <clears throat> Rewind. I'm single as fuck. Good god. god. Plus, Damn. I love just laying in bed on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, and so do watching I. fucking TV, man. Yeah, I agree. That's one of my pastimes. Damn. I, see, that's the thing is, uh, that's really good. see, I've got time on like Fridays and Saturdays where the girlfriend is working and I'm not. Yeah. And so in the morning, I could be watching stuff like that. What are you doing? But she wants to watch stuff like that with me. And so we have to wait until we both have time. Oh God. Um, well, the other show that's out is Dexter. Uh, that yeah. finally finished, and I kind of want to watch that. Well, I'm sure that's real good. I mean, it's probably not. Probably not. It's, I, all, it, it's finished for sure, or are they going to yeah. do another season after this? Well, I don't know about that, but I know the ten, yeah, yeah. 10 episodes from this season of New Blood is done. They've all aired. New so. Blood? Isn't that an old show? Dexter, New No, you're thinking of True Blood. <laughs> the Vampire the vampires. Show. Vampires. <laughs> yeah. Got you. Um. Oh my God! What? Speaking of vampires, uh, oh. Robert Pattinson. Yeah, I keep seeing previews or trailers for the Batman, uh-huh. and the latest. Okay, the first couple trailers I saw, I was like, "Meh." Naturally, the new trailer I saw before Scream made me super pumped oh. for it. Pumping up in there. And uh, I haven't seen the new trailer yet. I'm guessing it's the one that has Catwoman in it. Yes. Stuff I have. But do you know who the villain is? I know who like all the villains are. Yeah. Oh, Riddler and Penguin and. Oh, I didn't know anything. They only show. They only show the that the Riddler's a villain. Really? Yeah. No, they don't. In the the past two trailers i never saw a villain in the past two trailers i just saw yeah action. it's colin farrell as yeah i never saw that you did see it no just i haven't he's not your traditional i've never seen penguin. colin farrell in the trailers yes you have no i have you not. just did not recognize him because he's in so much prosthetics huh like google a picture of him right kind of like uh jared leto and it'll House make of sense Gucci. yeah you saw the uh, second trailer or whatever where the car is flipping over and he's like laughing ah! I don't know and if I Batman saw walks up to the car okay the guy in the car is oh. a penguin that's Kyle ah. Farrell alright and then who else the Riddler I don't yeah, know who I know that one is yet I don't know either um, is there another one I don't know oh. you said there was multiple villains I thought there was maybe one more I did not say more. that I never said that yeah you said the penguin and the Riddler I thought there was one I more ju- did I? Did I don't you know. Just put words into my mouth. Maybe. Did you just say that I said the penguin and the Riddler, and that equals out to multiple? Villains? I thought you said. Did you see the others? I don't know. Maybe I was other wrong. trailers. Oh no! I mean, I thought you meant the other villains. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh man, I could go for a grilled <laughs> cheese right now. I could go for something to eat. Mm, well, well let's stretch out that throat. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to get caught in my uh, esophagus. Oh. Um, let's see. What else is there? Dead air. <laughs> oh, you were checking for to room tone. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, no worries. Fuck. What? Nothing. I'm just out of stuff. I think. Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <sighs> you know how I've talked about giving up comedy. Uh huh. Well. Yeah. I have an idea. I don't know if I'm going to go through with it, but I Do have it. an idea. Do it. I have. I spent three years doing it. Yeah. I have so much material. I think I'm going to go back at it with the material that I already have and record it all uh-huh. and 
make an album out of it just because it's just so I have it and it's not just like yeah. I spent three years and it's just gone. Hmm. Like I wasted three years, you know what I mean? Right. So even if it even if I just have it just to have, it's there. I don't know if it's a good idea. I think idea that's a not. stupid idea. You do? That's a horribly ridiculous idea. Especially why? if you like go into it thinking like I am gonna give this up probably. Like why? Why not just keep your notepads as memory then? No. It's all on my you're Google not, Docs. I'm sorry, but you're not good enough to record yourself and make an album. Even just to have for, for myself. For yourself? Yeah. What are you gonna listen to it? eventually are probably I, I recorded a music album and i listened to that it's different you're good how is that you're different good with the music <laughs> <laughs> you're good with the music okay good for you you really think that's a stupid idea call in if you do uh, uh, to uh, uh, glazing haze at gmail.com yeah. to tell me whether or not i should do this I'm but, looking. I mean, if I'm you want to save advice. it for like 40 years down the road, and like, and you want to just like show it to your, I want to have some have sort your of kids feel embarrassed for you, then some sort of uh, something to show for it. What about like your uh, notebook that you write the jokes in? I, I write it on my Google Docs on my phone. What about you? Just like hold on to that phone for the rest of your life. <sighs> Uh, or your Google good thing Docs. Google Docs isn't going away. Uh, hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Google Metaverse might take it away. Oh my god. I'm, <laughs> I'm over you. I don't care, dude. I'm just giving you shit. Oh, do whatever you want. You know what we should do is uh have oh, no. listeners email in predictions. Cuz we did our predictions, but it'd be kind of interesting to see what other people huh. have and see if it comes true. Or not. We, we set we, that at we, the we, end of last week's podcast. Oh, we did? Yeah, we oh, did. Emails remember. your predictions, and then nobody did. Yeah, nobody did. Glazeandhaze at gmail.com. I don't know if anybody knows the email address. No, you have to Besides spell it out ben for Robert. Robert. Yeah. Jinx. That's true. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I'm at the Brehen Glaze. I'm at the Ben Glaze. No, you're not. Are we going to record a bonus episode? Do you want to? Yeah, I would love to. Okay. I got to pee first. All right. That sounds good. Cool. All right. Let's... Uh, All right. If you want to hear about the 27 movies that have never been... Cre- or that have been movie that... <laughs> you sound like that me. Been, that have been made. That just should not have been made. Keep listening. Or become a patron. You... 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 You, you can tell that... Yeah. That's, that was me. <laughs> yeah, it was. All right. All right. Okay. Bye, fuckers. Oh boy. That's awesome.